The following movie is rated R. Welcome to an episode of Purgatory. I'm Tori Bell. I'm Ava. I'm Sarah Beth. And I'm Stina. We hope you guys enjoy this episode. Please make sure to like this video, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't. And now for the music videos, starting with Creeping Death and Intestinal Rap. Gosh, gosh, the nightmares of blood. Outer Heaven, Rotting Stone, slash DMT. Heavy hitter with wall of wax. Melancholia with God Tongue.
Cattle Decapitation, Aphotic Doom. Jin Ghoul Opulence. Pupil Slicer with Glaring Dark of Night Monetary Actuality. Have in gloom with Hall of Sin. Hell Let Loose Callisto Disaster. Stabbing with visions of eternal suffering. Yeah, I just love it. I 
some of it. Cucumbers? Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Very clean. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you the notes too if you're asking. Prototype? I'll have to ask right now actually. Ooh, these oh, are yeah. like cucumbers. Yeah, I like that a lot. Just rub a cucumber on my body. Nothing sexual. <laughs> yeah, I took a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Still have the image in <laughs> I just love cherries and chocolate together. So when I saw the like profile of it, I was like, oh man, it's so good. If I'm hungry, I'll just drink coffee sometimes. Yeah, that's a good, it's a good way to suppress your appetite. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Pour a decent amount so that way I'll at least do halfway if that's fine with y'all. Because mm -hmm. I think these are like 16 ounce cups. Let's see. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna be home. <laughs> Do you like yours black, right? Yes. Okay. Do you like yours with any creamer or black? Um, I'll maybe a little bit of creamer. Okay. Yeah. Not too I definitely much. need creamer too. Cause I ain't strong one. Like. Yeah, that's oh, good. That's good. So I'll make sure it I'll put a little bit on for your little folks. Yes. Just make sure. It smells so good. Here. It smells clean. I guess it's clean. Yeah. It smells good. Does this look like enough creamer for you? I wish I had stir um, sticks. Just a little. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, girl, once I start pouring. No, you're good. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Mm -hmm. It definitely wakes your ass up, too. So what is it having in it? It's brown sugar, chocolate, and cherry. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. And then it says uh, varietal yellow kitui or kitoy, and then Brazil natural legender. So, and then the process is natural patio drying. So, I'm not too sure what that other portions mean, but I just know that the tasting notes are fucking amazing. <laughs> then we have a Concept Cafe's coffee, and this is their new Blood Brothers flavor. So check it out and on Instagram and also their website. All right, so today we have a interview featuring special guest Stabbing. Thank y'all for coming out. I appreciate y'all taking the time to be here. I'm going to just ask a few simple questions because I know you guys have a show coming up tonight. And by the way, thank you, Edward from Beatdown Booking for making this happen. First off, can you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Bridget. I'm Meryl. I play the bass. I'm Renee. I'm the drummer. I'm Marvin. I play guitar. I do the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to talk. How did y'all come up with the band name? Uh, well, we kind of wanted something like brutal and to the point, you know, like suffocation. And me and Marvin were talking about it, and he was like looking through metal archives, you know, like what's been taken, what hasn't been taken. And he's, I don't know, he just thought stabbing. He looked it up. We we're like, it hasn't been taken yet. Straight to oh the my point. god, that works, man. <laughs> we're really sorry to the stabbing in China. <laughs> y'all are okay too. <laughs> You guys have any current projects for 2022? I guess I guess I'm the only one. I'm I'm the the fucking drummer band whore. I play in uh, <laughs> uh, two other bands. One's called Flesh Order, and then another one's called Martyred. Uh, Martyred has an album coming out uh, next week on the 20th, um, yeah. called Relegation. Uh, so yeah, that's my other one. Nice. What are y'all's music influences? Well, I mean, I have a lot, but personally, I have a couple favorites for vocals go. Um, probably definitely AJ Magana and Maddie Way for sure Perfect. and um, and Will Romer love that guy Hell yeah. sick as vocals on the fucking planet love love them <laughs> but um that's about it for me Perfect. And as far as bands go I mean there's so many I, I like to take from a lot of different uh, music just like jazz you know death metal progressive metal and I, a lot of bands like Defeated Sanity Despondency Hell those yeah. bands uh, I would say like for our band in general, like we all see those bands' influences. Uh, there's, I couldn't even begin to name all of them. What is the craziest thing y'all have seen at a show so far? <laughs> so we played in <laughs> Albany, New York, and someone actually got stabbed oh, at the show. Oh fuck! 
We we don't condone that. You know, <laughs> don't want actual stabbings happening in our shows. <laughs> <laughs> but I would yeah, say that's that. probably the craziest that's happened Holy so far. Shit. I was inside when that happened, and I just had a couple people come up to me talking about you know why there's police outside Mm-mm. like yeah i heard i know <laughs> i get it. the police officers asked me what band i played in that night and i unmerciful told, yeah, i did not tell them i played in stabbing <laughs> i played in unmerciful that night <laughs> what is y'all's favorite album cover well i know me and meryl have a couple tattooed on us uh, my, my favorite is uh passages into deformity oh yeah i love how it's like simple it's straight to the point and it's uh it, it, it's just an emotional piece if you really look at it you know it's just like some dude just like that <laughs> and all the hands are coming and pulling them, you know, so that's, yeah. that's an easy one for me. I'm trying to think of one. I, one of my favorite ones is um, the band Disavowed. Like, yeah. yeah. Perceptive yeah. Deception, I think. Yeah, percep- yeah. Okay. I think anything Dan Seagrave does yes. is pretty remarkable. I don't know. I have a lot of favorites, but I love God on Acid and Cranial Impalement by uh, Discord, too. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What is y'all's favorite band logo? I'll, I'll go. Uh, I really like uh, Vile, the band Vile. Their logo. I I first saw it um, when um, George Corpse Grinder was wearing their shirt on on their album uh, on the back, like a picture of him. And I saw that logo on his shirt. And I was like, damn, that's pretty sick. And sure enough, I checked out the band. I love them. And then yeah, the the it's not a crazy like crazy death metal logo, but just the way it looks looks badass to me. That's that's my favorite logo. It's weird. It's like. Not even that crazy looking, but it's my favorite. Especially for being like four letters, too. Yeah. You know, you can make it work. Sick. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have a couple favorites. Well, I have a lot of favorites, actually, because I just love, you know, the artistic element of logos right. and all that. But um, I especially like the really long logos that fit well on shirts as a big, giant print. You know, like yes. Defeated Sanity. Actually, Malignant Alter, too. A oh, really cool logo like love that. Love them. Yeah. Yes. What is your current band shirt rotation? Like, do you guys have like, any specific shirts you wear more often than others at the moment? Yeah, so the one that I'm wearing right now, Cerebral Fusion, uh, uh, the Carabion from from Colombia, I wear that shit a lot. Uh, Malignancy, and uh, I, I don't know, P Trivi. I always try to wear P Trivi shirt when we play out of town or something like that. I'm like constantly wearing Gorgasm shirts like all the time because <laughs> I have so fucking many. So it's like it's hard. I like I have a, a shit ton of shirts, and I just like reach in there and pull one out and it happens to be gorgasm like almost every time for me i feel like i'm always grabbing the same defeated sanity yeah. flesh shirts <laughs> pretty much same as everyone else i have a lot i mean right now i have etchimosis very good oh band. yes um, but yeah i have a lot we also <laughs> have like all of us have like almost the same shirts too we gotta like be careful that like Don't we're not wearing others. the same shirt on the you know <laughs> they were Don't wear disgorge show. i'm wearing disgorge <laughs> The worst cerebral effusion. <laughs> and uh, what is y'all's favorite food or foods on the road? We all really like those nerds gummy clusters. <laughs> <laughs> we had a big bag of them on tour, <laughs> and it ripped into our merch box. No. So every city, we'd be leaving a little trail of them behind. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really good candy. I fell in love with those. Um, what are those? Those mozzarella sticks that are wrapped in pepperoni or something? Oh, you mean like the the, the cheese and the meat ones? ones or oh. whatever? Yeah, oh, those are good. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they yeah, they're, they either have pepperoni or salami. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking awesome. Hell yeah. I, I would say probably the Red Baron personal pizzas from this hotel we had in Chicago. We ate probably like 10 of those oh <laughs> every God. night. Fucking perfect munchies right there. Yeah. Last question. What bands are you guys listening to at the moment? It's hard. I know. Healing I, Flesh. Oh, yeah. There you go. Like, yes. Those are the homies. We really love them. They're and fucking the music awesome. Is just so heavy. Hell yeah. Yeah, the last time we were here in Corpus, we played with them. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're really sweet guys. Probably, there's this one band called Ominous Scriptures. It's probably the last album that I really just had on repeat a lot. Uh, but, I mean, other than that, I can't remember the last band that I was just, like, listening to, like, every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been listening to Condemned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just, like, going back, you know? Like, listening, like going back to, like, classic Yeah, crazy stuff. ass riffs. Hell yeah. So, our, our buddies we're playing with tonight, actually, uh, they're from Houston, too. And uh, they're called Dismality, and they're like, you know, they're a newer band. They're, they sound really fucking crazy live. Like I heard the recording, uh, and the recording was sick. But then when I saw them live, like it sounded fucking weird. Like it sounded like uh, you're getting sucked into like a vacuum or something, like in space, you know. But it was like brutal. Like it sounded like caveman. it was really good. It was like being in a cave but getting sucked into space at the same time. It was it was fucking crazy. 
What are y'all's uh, social media plugs you want to shout out? Uh, just, I mean, look us up on Facebook. This, you know, stabbing. Just type it in, it'll pop up. And then uh, our Instagram is stabbing tx underscore txcm, right? That's it. We have a TikTok, but we have not oh, used wow. it yet. We have not talked yet. There's <laughs> <laughs> a tick to be talked. We've had three ticks, but we haven't talked. <laughs> I guess that's it, you guys. I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Thank y'all again. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>now we're getting into masterpieces my list of masterpieces starting off with last days of humanity the sound of rancid juices sloshing around your coffin
the breakdowns are like a cozy cup of cocoa in a slaughterhouse during the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Cryptopsy, non so vile. brutal masterpiece that belongs in a museum next to a decapitated Mona Lisa. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. For mine, I just have candle mass with nightfall. I just think it's a very perfect doomy type of album. I just love, um, I love Messiah's voice on that album in particular. The, um, the whole production is amazing. And then I have Pathologist, Grinding Opus of Forensic Medical Problems. <laughs> which is just, I feel like a pioneering type of like, um, like death brand type of album with the core mm. grind infused and with the surgical stuff and the forensics, I love it. Then we have Insect Warfare with World Extermination. <laughs> just got to shout out Texas Death Metal mm, because mm -hmm. it's just such a classic album. And then another Texas Death Metal, which is a demo, but it's a disencumbrance, the betrayal. <laughs> It's 
just gold. I love it. I mean, I wish the production was a little bit better. I wish it was longer. But for the three songs they had on there, it was just amazing. And it's just, I don't know, it's timeless to me. These are two albums that were masterpieces, but that just had bad recording. The first one is Ain't No Everyone Should Be Killed. It's a brutal, aggressive masterpiece that was recorded on a yak back. Next one is Regurgitate, Effortless Regurgitation of Bright Red Blood. The recording was a garage massacre. I just have a Baphomet's The Dead Shall Inherit. Just needs a little tweak. I mean, it's a great album. It just it just needs that little tweak of just like polishing, not too polished, but you know what I mean, like a little yeah. bit of like roughness with a little bit of a tenderness, I guess. And then we have dead infection, surgical disembowelment. <laughs> There's a lot of groove on this album. It's just got a crazy amount of distortion that's a little distracting for my palate, but it's a great mix of death and grind. Okay, we'll start with the albums that grew on us. Okay. I got two. These grew on me because the album covers were just unappealing and I didn't hear them till later. First one is Alienation Mental, self-titled. <laughs> the second one is Crowbar, Broken Glass. For mine, I have pretty much a similar reason for one of them, which is dehumanized uh, prophecies foretold. <laughs> I thought it was just the corniest shit, but it was an excellent album. And then the other one I had was Acid Maniac. I thought it was a little too soft at the time when I was younger, like when I initially found out about them and I was like, mm, it wasn't really what I was going for. Plus with female lead singers, I was kind of hesitant towards, but I'm more like appreciated yeah. now, you know, as getting older, so immature of me. <laughs>
All right, so we're going to do album covers, and I'll just go through my list okay. first, and then you go through yours. Starting with Stabbing, Extirpated Mortal Process, uh, cover art by Daymore. Next one is Dippy Gus, Bushmeat. The artist is Diane Weller. Next one is Sanguish Sugar Bog, Tortured Hole by Nightmare Imagery. Next one, Phantasmagore, Insurrection or Submission by the one and only The Greatest. Gut Slaughter. Love her. Next one is Cerebral Rot, Excretion of Mortality by Karina Monzon. For mine, I have Encina Thrakith with, oh, i sorry if I butcher this name, but it's a Thrakithrate, <laughs> Thrakithrak, <laughs> sorry, um, by Raymond Redhorn. Then we have Distant Tombs Misery by Nick Keller. Then we have Dark Throne Eternal Hails by David A. Hardy. Then we have Question with Reflections of the Void by Lucas Court. And for my last one, I have Putrescent Seepage, uh, Dead and Demented by Cam Smith. Last, we're getting into the band releases. We have Psycho Frame with Remote God Seeker. Scented embodiment of death. Belly Error, Tales from the Cellar. Caustic Vomit, Eloquent, Requiems of Necrotic Decadence.
Gamma Sector Organs Engorged. Sadistic hallucinations, chambers of dissonance. Heinous exsanguination, the stench of decaying flesh. Scaphism with egregious corpse deformity. Furnace floor with furnace floor.
Purulent remains stages of decomposition. Coil Demo 2023. Hemorrhoid Demo 2023. Impressed with Bone Pit. Toxic Volcano, Sulfuric Ash Asphyxiation.
Gore pill flesh with gore corpses. Beef Patrol with Band versus Nature. Cadaveracity, la sanan abonis capatu. Origins or Issa self titled. Death the weights with voracious instinct.
Crepitation, monstrous eruption of impetuous preposterosity. Putrefax CCPM. Rizotomy Promo 2023. Vasculitis with masochistic intestinal eruption. Morgue supplier, a life extinguished.
cave grave with unfurling putridity. Spectral Flemesis, the void of cosmic mucus. Bodily stew and putrescine inhalation with cranial decimation. Prophecy of Suffering, Hymns and Hatred and Disgust. Field dressed, self titled.
Massacred, Demonic Infestation. Morgues Dismembering Corpses. Autophagy, bacteriophage. Bastard Grave, Vortex of Disgust. Blastia Cystia, Upper Triastic Slam Cataclysm. Tortured uh. with genetically engineered monstrosity.
neuropsychosis indulging the depraved. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.